Hello, viewers. Welcome to Messy Healthy Kitchen. If you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you for all my viewers and my new subscribers. Your girl is back. I'm back for good. So in today's video, we're going to see how to prepare our stew for that smoky patty jello fries using beef. This patty jello fries actually is for a client, but I choose to shoot it as a video so that I can show you how I prepare my patty jello fries. And I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to the Paul TV for trusting us to deliver. Let me go to the list of our ingredients. We'll have our habanero pepper. We'll have our fresh paprika, that's tatashi. We'll have our fresh tomatoes. We'll have our fresh ginger and garlic. Here I have my onions, ginger and onions. I'm going to blend these spices together and use it to season my beef. We'll have our tomato paste. So all my fresh tomatoes, my tatashi, habanero pepper and onions, I'm going to blend them together with my fresh ginger and garlic. So here is my blended tomatoes, onions, ginger and garlic. These are the list of the spices I'm going to use. Here is my rosemary. Here is my jansa seed. These are green fennel. I hope you can see it. I just remove little, little so as to show you. These are coriander seed. My fauna grig. Dry shallots. This is my nutmeg. I used country onions, but unfortunately, I did not have the seed to show you and bay leaf. But for the ingredients I mentioned, minus the bay leaf, I'm going to use the already blended ones. I blended it in the market because my blender cannot carry it. And I'm using chicken powder, seasoning cube, salt and vegetable oil and we have our onions so all my ingredients are ready the tomatoes is blended so i'm going to go ahead now and start with my beef here is my beef and it's nicely washed so i will add the blended onions ginger anise i'm going to add it to the already washed beef add my seasoning cube add my salt and a little of my cameroon pepper for hot spiciness in the beef and i will cover it allow it to simmer before adding water at this process the beef will bring out its own juice and it will make the meat to have a very nice taste so after some minutes the beef have released its juice as you can see so i will go ahead and add water I'm going to add enough water Cover it and cook the meat till it is soft or till the meat is ready so let's check our meat. Our meat is ready. 
So I will start my frying. I will fry it a little. Personally, I don't like over dry meat. But if you like it very dry, go ahead and fry it. Or if you can, use your oven. It's all well and good. So I will fry it and I will stir constantly to avoid burning. For me, the meat is ready and I will bring it down. So I will start my cooking proper. I will add my bay leaf, diced onions and my tomato paste. I will stir it for 5 minutes. Then I will add my fresh blended tomatoes. After adding my fresh blended tomato, I will add my turmeric powder. Cover it and allow it to cook. So after 20 to 25 minutes, I will check as you can see, the tomatoes have reduced. I will add my homemade stew and jello spices. Please add the spices based on the quantity of stew you are cooking. My stew, I'm using half pint of tomatoes, that's the fresh. The tatasha I'm using is a 300 naira. I have my tomato paste, I use the medium size, that's the 210 grams. So I will add my salt, add my two sachet of chicken seasoning powder i will stir it and cover it to continue cooking so after some time i will check again add my two seasoning cube as you can see the oil has started floating on top that shows that the tomatoes is getting ready. At this stage, when you test it, you will notice that the sour taste of the tomatoes have disappeared. I noticed some people add biocarbonate to their stew or tomatoes to reduce the sour taste. Mm. No comments on that for now. But if you think it's good, let me know in the comment section. So I will add my beef stock allow it to cook for more 15 minutes i will add my beef stir it and off my gas So this stew, I prepared this night, is for my tomorrow jello fries. Today is a new day. Good morning everyone. So we are ready for our party jello fries. You don't have to start early so as to meet up with our client's time. So as you can see, my big pot is on fire. I am cooking half pint of rice for the client. That's a small cool of rice. So my beef stock is on. I've added it in the pot. I'll add my stew. Add my chicken seasoning powder, a little thyme, my homemade seasoning, 
add a little turmeric powder, onions, seasoning cube, and salt. And I will cover it, allow it to boil, allow it to boil very well. So let's check the water. The water has started boiling, so it's time to add the rice. I'll add my rice. I added good quantity of rice that will be okay for the pot. Added more stew. Unfortunately, I didn't cover that part. So once you add your rice, please test to know if the seasoning has come up to the place to the test you want it. So our rice is ready. I added onions. That's the fresh onions for more garnishing. And it gives the rice a very nice flavor. So our rice is ready. So get your plate. Come and have a taste of it. Just look at that beautiful color. Look at that. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, once again, you are welcome. And to all my viewers, please click the subscribe button click the subscribe button to keep this ministry going i will feel so encouraged to have more and more subscribers thank you and god bless you have a nice day bye bye see you soon